Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request, Maria's sister Joanne is off the ventilator now and is doing better but is not well yet. Pray she gets over her COVID. Uh, Maria, let us know how she's doing, if she's doing any better now. If you see this, please. Uh, Jackie Howard is having psychological issues and is feeling was feeling suicidal. Uh, she saw a doctor and will be getting meds and therapy. Pray she gets better. And Jackie, let me know how you're doing, if you're doing any better now. I hope you are. Denise's son passed away from cancer. She's having a bad time. She asked prayer for comfort and that he knows how much he means to her. Kim Westervelt was exposed to COVID and is going to be tested. Pray she doesn't have it. Diane C.'s friend Bonnie passed away from COVID complications. Please pray for strength for her family. Teresa needs prayer. She has cancer real bad. Pray she will be healed. Bente is having trouble in life. Pray things get better. Pray that Loretta and her husband uh, coughing, the coughing stops. There's nothing worse than coughing over and over and over. It gets to you after a while. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Deuteronomy 15, 7 through 11. If anyone is poor among you, fellow Israelites, in any of the towns of the land the Lord your God has given you, is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted towards them. Rather, be open-handed and freely lend them whatever they need. Be careful not to harbor, harbor this wicked thought. The seventh year, the year for canceling debts, is, is near, so that you do not show ill will towards the greedy among your, I mean the needy, I'm sorry, toward the needy among your fellow Israelites and give them nothing. They may then appeal to the Lord against you and you will be found guilty of sin. Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything Everything, I'm sorry, is it, through, is it through 11? Okay. And in every, God will bless you in all of your work and in everything you put your hand to. There will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed towards your fellow Israelites who are poor and needy in your land. All right, our devotion today is entitled, Caring for Those in Need. Elvis Summers answered the door to find Smokey, a frail woman who stopped by regularly to ask for empty cans to return for cash. The money was her primary source of income. Elvis got an idea. Could you show me where you sleep, he asked. Smokey led him to a narrow patch of dirt about two feet wide next to a house. Moved by compassions, Summer Summers built her a tiny house, a simple shelter that provided space for her to sleep safely. Summers ran with the idea. He started a GoFundMe page and teamed up with local churches to provide land to build more shelters for others who were homeless. Throughout the Bible, God's people are reminded to care for those in need. When God spoke through Moses to prepare the Israelites to enter the promised land, he encouraged them to be open-hearted and freely lend to the poor whatever they need. This passage also noted that there will always be poor people in the land. We don't have to go far to see this is true. As God compassionately called the Israelites to be open-handed towards your fellow Israelites, we too can find ways to help those in need. Everyone needs food, shelter, and water. Even if we don't have much, may God guide us to use what we do have to help others. 
Whether it's sharing a sandwich or a warm winter coat, small things can make a big difference. Who do you know or have seen that may be in need of help today? What can you do to help? Jesus, help me to find ways I can help those around me. Please give me a generous heart. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning and I'll be seeing you later on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.